Mark Rocco of Manchester. Now Sanders with his uh, belt on for the European Middleweight Championship belt, of course. Both champions here, but at different weights. Mal at uh, 11 stone 12, is just above the welterweight limit. And could uh, almost quite well away, but he's the middleweight champion of Europe anyway. His opponent, Mark Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain. Seconds away, round one. So, round one of a six round contest, two falls to the side in the first heat of this four man combat challenge shield. And it's Sanders in the light, yeah, light trunks. No weight limits on this, as they're all different weights. The four men that were introduced in the ring before the Challenge Shield tournament started. The other two, of course, which will be wrestling after these two, but the, uh, who, who gets into the final with the winner of these two? Marty Jones and the boy who's, of course, called Dave Boy Smith originally, but now known as Young David in the wrestling ring. Rocco may be a weight above, and he is 13 stone 4 against Sanders, 11 stone 12. But he's going to find Mal Sanders quite a handful here this afternoon, I think. And for Dave Reese, we'll have to watch Rocco very carefully, very carefully indeed. Rocco behaving impeccably. But he won't like that too much. It's sort of his uh, great moves, the lean back drops. That's already the hair pull. Already the hair pull. Out Nelson. And back Hammer. Nice. Well, he's reaching for a chicken wing here. If he gets that, it's going to be trouble for Sanders. If he gets those hands to meet, agonizing. <laughs> Sanders doing very well so far against the heavier man. If he can keep this up, it's going to be a really good bout here. His first heat. Nice to see the light of man a chance to get into the final of this challenge shield. He's going the right way about it at the moment. He just about avoided that one. the speed of Sanders there showing how he came back with that counter on the double-handed wrist lever so quickly on that head man. Sanders is a great escape artist. Very good indeed. He's going to have problems later. Hey, hey, well, oh, he's trying for a pile drive already. He's going to cross press, but not heavy enough this early. You have to weaken this man a great deal more before. Him. But it was a neat try. Great arm lever that, but uh, Rocco's got on him there. He's pushing the shoulder forward, getting the great bind on the leg at the same time. Nice two and one. work so Rocco just uh, releases one minute to go in round one of six it's the semi Japanese stranglehold again Rocco on the attack Rocco trying to get that other hand through he's through but he, he shouldn't have gone through because that gave Sanders the counter Beautiful reverse whip by Rock the Thrive Sanders. 
<laughs> Took Walker really by surprise that one. Again, a beautiful escape by Sanders. It's a pity if that sort of stuff comes into this tournament now. Eight seconds. Oh, it's suplex on the way to Rocco, but he didn't have time to maneuver in exactly the right position for it. So forced release. Much to his chagrin. There he is, Mark Rolovo Rocco from Manchester, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain, a 13 stone four. And already after one round, we can see his uh, intentions. He's going to win this fight in any way he possibly can. But Dave Reeves, the referee, will be watching pretty closely, especially in this Challenge Shield match. Seconds away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go. No score. Rocco. Darkest trip. The stars right down the sides. Gear and boots. And his opponent, of course, Mal Superstar Sanders. Going for these double arm leaders here. He's, he's got it again. Uh, Tony is going to get the canvas neatly. Can you hold it there? Nope. Oh. Caught him beautifully on the way over from those ropes there. And that's just a typical Rocco move that he's operated on him this time for a change. Sand is still very quick. And against Rocco, he has to be. Strangle uh -uh. hold now to Sanders. There's the quick knee exactly in the right place where it should be, not turn the forearm over the windpipe. Just an eagle. Just right. Sanders uh, not only giving away weight here, he's giving away a bit of strength too, of course. The speed will have to come to his aid a lot, as it's already shown. Unlock now to Sanders on the attack again. inside you know a beautiful throw can he follow it up quickly enough with a cross press he got a count of two no not quite they were nearly the first ball to rocco there just up Sanders was just up it's just legal and the butt hit but two Sanders forehead. What do you listen? Back to Campus, trying the back elbow again. But not the second one. The first one legal, part of the same move, but not the second one. Ah, very like the punch, that first one, but it's uh, referee was unsighted from it. I'm not too sure myself. Nice to cross press again. Again, Sanders gets that left shoulder laid off. Waits for the count of two, and Rocco again using the hair. Two minutes to go, round two, and Sanders getting mad with that use of the hair all the time. Rocco trying to cool him down, but he won't. Oh, yes, Rocco Handers, straight to the stomach on the way. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sanders just lost his cool there completely after that last pair of pull. And if Rocco complained to the referee, well, this man's going mad, he's not rustling, but he started it. I suppose Rocco thought he could get away with murder with this lighter man, but he's certainly not uh, succeeding so far. Nice arm roll, beautiful. Wrist lever. Hand now. Got the hand and the wrist lever. Finger in the lock. Beautiful on the way with an arm roll. 
caught him perfectly. Just a minute left in round two. Oh, that's one leg. Folded. Did he go for the... No, he's, uh, he's not trying at the moment, Rocco. Half a minute now. Three or four leg lock didn't really operate for Rocco back. Again, Sanders. A beautiful Show you that strike and hold. Full on body check. Beautiful one there by Rocco. Followed up with the sole of the foot. Oh, that last one illegal. Eight seconds to go and illegal that last move. And Rocco coming down from the top rope. All the way down with a headbutt effect. But it's on the bell anyway. The referee warns Rocco not to follow up after the, the move is complete. Being reminded again. Getting him back to his corner. Let's have a look at the superstar Mal Sanders from Morton in Surrey. He was he's just about 21 years old, this, this fella. 11 stone 12 and the Southern Area Welterweight title. And he's done, done very well indeed before he became a, a professional, but he's done even better since he has. Seconds away, round three. Round three, and it's four rounds to go. No score in this first heat of the four-man combat challenge shield. Rocco versus Sanders, and there's Sanders in the light trunks. While he's just getting sponged down, let's have a look at a very great wrestling fan. There he is, he's known as John. We don't know his surname, but he's a great wrestling fan. He's unsighted. So we've given him a pair of phones to help him follow the the match here this afternoon. And he's very pleased. There he's, he's waving his finger. He's heard me say that. So he should enjoy it today more than he usually does. On the side. In the meantime, Sanders not letting Rocco get away with any of the strikes so far. And he's got a public warning for that one. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee gives his first warning to Mark Rocco. And a trip off the ropes and a follow-up far, far too late, and Dave Reese reminds him. And that looks very like a punch, but then, of course, he had his body carefully hiding the move from the referee. That's Mikey Klein, but Sanders back to the field, the kick, and the foot lands very well. And it's Sanders now going with a hand. And also the punch, but he gets a public warning for that retaliation move. He also gives his first public warning to Mal Sanders. Retaliation is okay up to a point, but uh, the referee decided that he'd overdone it, Sanders. He's complaining now, Mal Sanders, but he's taken a lot from this man. He was only just giving it, just giving him one back. No good. One public warning each in round three. He wanted the arm right there to get that sort of semi super move on. He's trying it again. There it is. Back, back breaker over the shoulder. Oh, yes, and after two minutes, Sanders waiting for him off the ropes. And again, Sanders follows up with that hair pull. He better be careful. Oh, Sanders doing so well here. Can he keep it up? Give me away one and three quarter stone. And doing very well. He's got the crowd right with him. He walked into that one again. Oh, this Sanders is really doing well here today. supposed to be impartial but I'd love to see Sanders keep this up and uh, shake Rocco with all his doubtful moves less than a couple of minutes to go now in this third round still no sign of any score a couple of attempted pinfalls mostly by Rocco but it didn't work the reverse double knee holds cross press 
Again, he can't make that cross. Pass. Uh, uh, uh. Going off the top again. And this time, the Saunders was waiting for him with that right in the stomach there. And over the top, beautiful back shot. Now they're posting. Saunders winning most of this now. He can just follow it up and get a quick fall here. Lovely drop kick, the right foot reaching, and Rocco out of the ring. Quickly walking into our ringside camera. Just a minute to go in the third. Oh, and this packed crowd here at the Floral Hall Southport really loving this. The possibility of the lighter man and one of their favorites anyway, Mel Sanders. Pulling this off if he can. He's doing so well up to now. Back hammer. Half a minute. Rocco's gone now to make this count. He's so close to me, at, above me here at uh, ringside, that he could probably hear me say there was 30 seconds to go there. again waiting for him to come off the ropes but right on the bell and it's Rocco gets him with a foot as the bell goes to end round three and the move right at the end there put Sanders into trouble I don't know whether it was a punch actually on the nose I but we'll see in a minute he's uh, in trouble from something I think it was a punch that landed right at the end there Complaining to the referee, his mouth, I think. Throw him right in the mouth, that one. Seconds away, round four. But halfway through the bout now, three rounds to go and still no score. One public warning each to Rocco on the left, Sanders. Sanders uh, from Morton, Surrey. Rocco, of course, from Manchester. Half Nelson now, Rocco. He's the front hand around the front of the body to join his other arm. Oh! Very neat move, cross press again. He's failed a lot with this move, and he's failed it again this time. Oh! Trying for a double knee, but too late. After he's released, and he gets a put second public warning for it. The referee gives his second and final public warning to Mark Rocco. Hey! Sanders now to the end of that last bout and then he comes across off the ropes. Ah, well, that could be disqualification there. He's being reminded by the ref. He's got two public warnings and the crowd are in full agreement with Dave Reese. They'll be all for it if he's sent off. You must leave him alone once the move's finished. Nelson, Sanders, reversing it now. No, he's not going to fall for that one. <laughs> but he turned away and got shook for his pains. Not kick again. And it's a double knee. Foley press. And Sanders a great chance here. He's got it. The first fall to Mel Sanders. In just one and a half minutes of round four, it's Mel Sanders, the lighter man, and obviously the popular boy here at Southport. It's the first fall. Ryan Crabtree. In one minute, 30 seconds of round four. The first fall goes to superstar Sanders. Great, right, I think everybody here in this packed hall, floral hall at Southport, really applauding me. He's made it. Despite that worry of his mouth at the end of the last round, he came really back well in that fourth round, and he's got the first fall, leading with two rounds to go. Second away, round five. Now, can he keep it up? Mel Sanders is leading one fall to nil over Rocco in the dark strip there with the stars down the side. Black hair. Mark Rocco of Manchester. Both champions in their own right, but of different weights, of course. Mel Sanders, the European middleweight champion. Rocco, the heavy middleweight champion of Great Britain. Lighter right man giving away a stone and three quarters here, doing extremely well to lead by one fall and a half. But two runs to go. If he can just hold that lead. 
He will be the first into the final for this four-man combat challenge shield. And it looks dangerous. But again, Rocco, who's been concentrating on that cross press, hasn't made it work yet. now he's got to stay away now until he gets up and Dave Reese making sure he does tackle and it's Rocco got him with a pile driver and that could be real trouble for Sanders that he's leading by one fall but that pile driver could finish it five six seven eight he's not going to make it have to hurry ten no no and the whole crowd here at the floor hall Southport sides with me as we realize that his chance has gone after a wonderful start Rocco the winner by a knockout in round five over Mel Sanders, and it's Rocco that goes through to the final, which we'll see next Saturday. And one minute, 40.